so uh, we're here at the Manitoba Agronomy Conference and we were just in a session uh, or a panel talking about soybean production in Manitoba. Uh, lots of questions, great, great group. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, what farmers really need to be keeping in mind for 2013? Um, some of the key points that we talked about on the panel going forward into 2013 is uh, I think a, a lot of cases um, the seed quality that we're going to be dealing with. So whether growers are keeping their own seed around, uh, like through a Roundup Ready One system or purchasing new seed, the uh, seed production crop from this past year would have been coming off of very dry conditions. So um, ideal 12 to 14 percent moisture, harvest moisture would be good but in a lot of cases it was coming off well under 10%. And depending on the, the system, uh, how it's being handled, we'll have a, a determination of you know, what kind of percent C crack we're gonna have, what, and which will affect germ in the end, germ and vigor. So those are some things that first off what a grower should be looking at as far as the seed quality and making sure that they're planting um, the right, for the right population based on the germ of that seed. So that's one, the first thing that comes to mind. Um, and obviously, to uh, depending on what area of the province they're going into, um, fall moisture, going into spring moisture, what, what kind of uh, seeding conditions we're going to have. If we're going to be in drier or wetter conditions, um, will also dictate you know their populations and timing and when they're going to get into the field. So uh, otherwise, there certainly is a lot of uh, a lot of optimism. So, but nothing at this point other than. Um, a lot of optimism, a lot of uh, excitement as far as uh, growing soybeans. Now you're uh, near Elm Creek. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, are farmers using their standard drills and, and air drills uh, and air seeders, or have you seen a move to planters? There definitely is a uh, movement towards planters. I think it's still happening. Um, I would probably say if I were to look at our geography around Elm Creek, Carmen, St. Claude, Oakville, and even east towards Starbuck and Winnipeg. If I took that general geography, I would say we're probably at 60-40, uh, 60% 60, 60 drill, 40% planters, but that proportion of planters is increasing. Uh, what we're seeing more so that's happening now at the same time is guys are moving towards planters to get that more precise depth and spacing and, and emergence. Um, is now what row spacing to go with because they don't just have the option of 30 inch rows anymore. Now they have the option to look at 15, 20, 22 inch, and even different configurations of the row spacing. So I think those are some things that we're learning as we go. Great, now quickly about inoculants. Uh, what's the typical, are you still seeing double inoculant? Is it half rate of, of dry and liquid, full rate of both? What are right. you seeing as? With that, I generally start by looking at what the grower is using to seed his soybeans. So if he is using a planter, um, he's then f sort of limited to what he can use. He's going to be using that seed itself as the main carrier for the inoculant. So in a lot of cases we're uh, looking at uh, a 1 or 2x liquid or liquid plus peat on that seed. Um, if he has the option, uh, which a lot of planters do have, is a liquid, having a liquid delivery system on the planter to place an in inoculant. They'll do that on top of what they apply on the seed itself. Uh, especially if they haven't had soybeans in that field more than one other year in the rotation. Uh, but what we're finding is if they have had soybeans multiple years already, say two or three times in that rotation already, they're probably just looking at 1x on that seed as being enough. Um, guys with drills though, we're still looking at that combination of a, a liquid on the seed plus an inferral granular inoculant just to make sure that we have that insurance. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah, you bet. Thank you.